In the previous video, I showed you how to uh, create this Docker file. And in this video, we'll show you how to actually build and run the image. Now, I'm going to be staying on the same branch here. You can see uh, down on the bottom of the IDE, I'm still on the GitHub branch of Docker base. I'm only, only going to be doing demonstration here of the runtime application. And I'll be running this right from uh, IntelliJ. IntelliJ does have a terminal that you can bring up. And let me clear that message. And here you can see that I am uh, in the root of the uh, project. Now, one very uh, important thing here is the way Docker build command works. It will work from the current directory and down. So you can't go up. Uh, that is a security thing. And I actually found that out by the hard way. And uh, it took me a little bit to, to figure that little bit out. So here in the readme, you can see that I've got a couple commands here. So I got Docker build minus F. I'll be putting this in the readme for your reference so that you'll have, have access to those commands. So here, let's go ahead and do, just make sure Docker is running. So if you do Docker PS, you can see that I do have a Postgres image running. Uh, that is perfectly fine. That won't uh, bother us. So I'm going to do a Docker build. Now for this to work, uh, you can see that I have my target directory exploded and that the jar is there. So you do need to run Maven package before running this. Otherwise, it, it will not work. So I'm going to do docker build minus F, and I'm going to say from here, go, go source, main, and I'm just hitting the, the tab key for the autocomplete. You can see the docker file. Uh, so that minus F tells the file that we want to build, and because I'm running from the root of the project, I will be able to access that because you can see in the docker file, remember I'm, I have that relative path. So I'm running from this point in the file system, so this will be able to traverse down and copy that file in. So if I ran from the Docker base folder, this would not be happy. So um, important aspect there. So that's setting the file, and then I want to do minus T. I'm going to give this a, a tag, wrong window. And here I am going to do KBE rest, like so. Go ahead and tag that. And Docker build, and I see my mistake. I forgot to say current directory there at the end. So now we can see that we went out and we uh, built it. It actually built fairly quick. And the first time you run it, I've already built a couple times. So the OpenJDK, that image is already there. So uh, it's pretty lightweight for this to uh, go ahead and build. So we're saying from, I didn't have to download that from the internet the actual copy and stuff that went uh, fairly quick. Now let's go ahead and run that. You can see I, I set up the second man here for running it. So let me clear the screen. I can say docker run. And I'm just going to say minus P. Uh, 80, 80, that's going to map 80, 80 to the local host. And we'll do KBE rest. And I'm not going to use the minus D flag. I put, put the minus D flag there in the command because I, I want to go ahead and observe the, the startup log. So I'm just going to be starting this up. And we'll go ahead. You can see that uh, I'm monitoring the logs. And that is now coming up. We can see that we have the, the normal Spring Boot startup. So now this application is up and running inside of a Docker context and a, a Docker image and is running locally on my host. Uh, port 8080 was exposed. So if I wanted to uh, curl from a command line or use Postman or something, I would be able to exercise the API at this time. So uh, I'm not going to be demonstrating that in this video. Like we can see that we are up and running. And I came up in the console mode interactively here and to shut it down. I just do control C and that will terminate the JVM. It goes away. If I do a Docker PS, you can see that now I have just Postgres running. And if I went to a, a second command line while that was running, the Docker PS would have shown that image up and running.